Okay, this is where I get into the spoilers. So, if you haven't played, you know, frankly, if you haven't played Fear, Fear Extraction Point, Fear Perseus Mandate, and Fear 2 Project Origin, I might give away some stuff. The, the fact that it's so much about the action, I think it was always an odd marriage, if you will, you know, to... I mean, I, I guess I get it. The ring alone, what kind of gameplay would you... And, I mean, I guess, you know, survival horror, maybe, but that would be about it, and I don't think they will... I mean, frankly, I think it might have been good if they had tried to just make a straight John Woo ish title but you know it, it would probably have been compared to Max Payne and it probably would have been inferior to Max Payne because Max Payne that is a very successful marriage of John Woo style action and the noir um, you know film noir um, but yeah so they went with you know the universal soldier idea with the ring and then the John Woo influence, and I've always liked the atmosphere of these better than the, um, I mean, that, that was the first thing I thought when I first saw some of uh, the first Fear being played. What's with the slow-mo? Why, why, what does that have to do with, I mean, you'd even think that that would take away from you know, the gameplay of being scared and the atmosphere thing. You know, the moment you have someone who has superpowers in a scary situation, I mean, that kind of takes away from it, you know. It, um... But... I, it, it very much works with the uh, Fear 2. I, I like that the comic relief was actually funny, you know, for the first time. I mean, you know, when, um... You know, most of the stuff about Snake Fist that's supposed to be funny is actually funny. I mean, you know, when you read the I Am transcripts, you know, that one where, you know, he just... For, for example, the running thing, he keeps saying, I don't know who this Terry is that you're talking about, but I'm not him. And then, you know, when you meet him, you know, um, oh, that Snake Fist, hi, I'm Terry. You know, that, that was funny. And then when he, um, in the I Am transcripts, when he's, um, when she appears offline and he, like, you know, he gets frustrated, so he writes, like, bitch, 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 bitch. That was funny. You know, that made me chuckle. And, um, that's t too much of a rarity. Uh, comic relief that's actually funny and that doesn't just make you want to, you know, reach into the screen and just strangle the person because they're so fucking annoying. His death was pretty fucking cool, too. Uh, you know, just... You're standing there, you've just gotten the cool weapon, you're, you're basically just looking, hey, this is a really cool fucking weapon, and then, you know, plop uh, down behind him, and he's just dead. That was, didn't see that coming. I, um, that was, that was very effective. And on that weapon, you know, the, uh, it's the, the pulse one, it's, is it just me, or is it basically the, the BFG from, you know, the Doom games? Seriously, that's, um, you know, Doom 1 and 2, I haven't played 3. Um, I mean, you know, that sucker really, I mean, you know, it melts their skin, it just completely destroys them. Very, very cool. Also, the laser, that's probably the coolest laser I've seen in a video game. That's, that's awesome. I think they did really good at making Alma, you know, putting her that much closer to you, you know, the parts where she gets, you know, she basically grabs you and tries to absorb you, and you have to fight her off by uh, right-clicking, you know, p or, you know, whatever platform you're on, pressing the um, melee assault button repeatedly until she lets go, you know, and she just, like, and the closer you get to where she actually actually is, the more frequent these attacks become. That that was very... And, and the fact that these, um, you know, the, um, the failed psychic commanders ones, um, you know, when they, like, jump on you and you're, like, uh, your guy automatically, uh, the Beckett, whatever his name is, automatically holds one of their, um, arms away and then you just have to smash, um, 
you know, punch them in the face repeatedly until they finally um, come back off. You know, that, very, very cool. And that big, I mean, it's like a black cloud, huge um, octopus tentacle thing that sh she uses to, you know, I mean, that could have looked really silly the way I kind of think that the um, extraction point new paranormal phenomena, I mean, the, those little, I mean, they, they look like um, cheap, you know, mm, uh, Martian some things, you know, with the red eyes and basically see-through. The first time, the first couple of times I saw them, I laughed. I'm not, I shit you not, I fucking laughed. But, you know, the, um, uh, <coughs> but, yeah, the, the arm, very effective, you know, every single time, it's really terrifying. Uh, the, the, and the score is excellent, I thought. One thing, though, one thing, though, heavy metal there near the end, what the fuck was up with that? I mean, I, I don't mind heavy metal. I just, I didn't think it was, it, it was maybe sort of appropriate for the situation, but it wasn't really that appropriate for the game. You know, it, it didn't really make sense to have this, you know, pumping, I mean, because everything else in every single other piece of music is this, you know, it, it adds to the psychological horror aspect, and that one didn't. It, it really, but, you know, it was when you were gunning down people from the, also, is it just me, or when you heard, you know, okay, man the turret, is it just me, or was anybody else thinking, awesome, a machine gun, and then they get up to it as, oh, okay, it's more like a cannon. It's, I mean, it's not slow firing, but it's, you know, I, maybe it's just me. It's just, ever since I saw Aliens, I, you know, would have loved to man one of those fucking turrets with the machine gun, just tear the enemies to shreds, but, I don't know. I thought the ending did a better job of giving you a challenge, something that you had to beat in order to, you know, when you're fighting the, um, the, with the really fucked up face and skin, um, that, uh, s uh, military dude that, um, you were trying to, um, retrieve Keegan, I think, maybe, I don't know, um, that was pretty good, and he just kept appearing, and, and then it flashes back to, you know, her, I mean, this is just me, was she fucking raping the player, that, that was, that was different, I hadn't seen that in the game before. That was that was different and kind of interesting. It it um you know and and then there at the end um fairly creepy with you know she takes your hand and puts it on her pregnant belly and the you know um and and I guess you know if you're going with the that thing of you know they took her babies and she didn't fucking want that she that really made her pissed off that kind of does make sense, I guess, you know, that she, but, you know, it was interesting, and, uh, I hadn't seen it coming. Now, I, I mean, it, it, they might still make more games, so maybe, maybe what I'm about to say will, you know, happen, and, um, personally, I just thought it would be really fucking cool if the ending, I, I don't remember if I started to think of this back when I was playing the first one, or if it was, you know, for this one where I actually thought, oh, maybe they will go there and do that. But what if, you know, you you go to to face off with Alma and you're supposed to, you know, bring her in, but she actually manages to take you over to make you the new psychic commander so that the player winds up becoming the slave, winds up becoming the a, a tool for Alma, you know, losing himself, losing his will to her. I, I just, I think that would be a very, um, very different and very disturbing, you know, because, I mean, 